Kelly Smith was voted Nationwide International Player of the Year by England fans. Mirror.co.uk was there to see her collect her award, and then the Arsenal striker answered Mirror readers' questions. Kelly, our first question is from Penny, and she says, I'm playing in one of the lower leagues and would love to progress to one of the higher leagues. What are the most important parts of training to help me progress? I think obviously the, the vital parts of, of playing football from a young age is your ball control, um, getting as many touches on the ball as possible when you're younger. Um, that can involve you just going out and taking the ball onto the field and just dribbling around cones um, or even having a wall, um, striking the ball um, onto the wall and, and reacting and having the ball come back and work on your first touch. Um, you know, just small-sided games, really. Um, get some of your friends round over the park or whatever and just get um, used to taking people on um, and, and striking the ball at goal, that's what I would say. Mm -hmm. I've got a 15-year-old called Sarah Kelly-Smith. Um, she plays right wing for her local club and wants to know how to become a professional footballer. Well, as of, as of now, in England, there is not real any top-level professionalism in the game. Arsenal, myself, are semi-professional, so I have a daytime job um, working for Arsenal and also get money to play for Arsenal, so I wouldn't say that there is actually a full-time women's pro league in England. However, there is a pro league starting next year in America, so if she wants to strive for that, um, I would say to her, work hard in your, in your training, um, train as hard as you possibly can, and then hopefully some scouts will be around and you can maybe play professionally in America. Um, next question is from Dagmara, and she wants to know whether you would leave Arsenal if you got a good offer from the professional league in America. Um, that's a good question. Um, obviously, I'm aware of the Pro League um, coming around again next year. Um, I don't think I would go back there. Um, I'm quite happy at Arsenal and playing, uh, playing in England and representing Arsenal in England. Um, but having said that, if the right offer was made and I couldn't turn it down, then you, know, you never know what's going to happen. But I'm very happy in England and at Arsenal. What was your experience like in America before? Yeah, it was great. Obviously, I went moved out there when I was 17. Um, spent seven years out there playing um, college football and then professional football for the Philadelphia Charge. And as I said before, just training every day in a high competitive training environment um, with good coaching. Um, Travelled, saw a lot of America. It was a very good experience um, in my life. <laughs> um, next question, complete change of topic. Steve from Salford, he wants to know what your thoughts are on a no-nookie ban <laughs> before big games like Sir Alex, Alex Ferguson apparently put on his players before the Champions League final. Okay. Um, yeah, obviously when we're away in hotels. Um, <laughs> <laughs> kind of a weird question to answer. Yeah, obviously that's not on my mind, to be honest. Um, obviously I'm focusing on the game and doing my imagery before the game and really focus on the next, you know, 90 minutes that we're going to be playing. So um, I'm not really focusing on that, you can tell him. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, a very final question. Um, your favourite players at the moment who you really admire, both in the women's game and the men's game? Um, in the men's game, I would have to say Ryan Giggs. Um, he was kind of somebody that I role modelled myself on growing up. Um, even though I'm not a Man United fan, I just like the way he plays, his uh, vision, his skill, his creativity, his final ball play, his movement. I just try and mirror myself on, on him growing up. Um, for the women's game, um, a current player would have to be, obviously, Marta um, from Brazil. I think she's got everything that you need to be the top player that she is, skill, speed, vision, um, she's just so comfortable and technically gifted with the ball at her feet, so I'd have to say her. Lovely. Thank you very much okay. for talking to us and answering our readers' <laughs> questions. Thank you.